Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Tuesday, February 18th, and it's 8.29. Can't see the numbers too good. Anyway, um, this is a video that I was sent by um, one of my our sisters in Christ from February the 15th. Still trying to get caught up, but you know how it is. In the mornings, I unpack or hang pictures. Now, now I'm into pictures, and guess what? I have one box left. Yeah, I've been throwing little odds and ends in there, and it's only about the size of a cubic foot, so it doesn't have much in it. And and um, anyway, uh, there's a few things stacked around that aren't going to stay day where they're at but <laughs> we're getting there <laughs> by the end of this week I plan to be done so anyway I'm going to share this video with y'all because it's it's important it does have to do with this whatever they're calling this virus from China okay it's the same one I, sh I shared I think I shared Full spectrum survival. I talked about it some yesterday, and how Paul Begley, you know, said they were how many Jews were praying, and then we had a little prayer for them for anybody with the virus. That's what my prayer is for: that anybody with the virus will survive it. And you know that when you survive a virus like that, you've got antibodies in your system. And you don't need a vaccine for it either. So I hope it goes around. But I do hope that people are taking things this man is mentioning, first of all, to prevent it. To boost your immune system. Like turmeric. And when you take it with black pepper... Now, he's talking about using it in your cooking. Now, if you don't like the taste of it, you can buy it in little capsules. Well, they're not so little because they want you to take three. And it takes a whole space in my box. <laughs> I have a medicine box that's for morning, noon, afternoon, or evening, and then bedtime, whatever. It takes two boxes for my afternoon pills because they're mostly supplements and they're all really big. <laughs> well, they want you to take three of those, three turmerics uh, as an average dose. So I'm up to three now. I take the full three. And uh, anyway, he's talking about the vitamin C, uh, oh, I don't remember what all he's, what all he said to prevent, first of all, try to prevent it, and if you get it, it will be a low, uh, case your body will be able to, um, take care of it, and he's also suggesting you get some, uh, Something like Robitussin DM. Other stores have their own brand. The DM, the dextromethorphan, helps to loosen the phlegm. So you'll cough it up when you do cough. But the Robitussin part... Um, Whatever that is called. I don't remember uh, right now. But that part calms your cough. Which seems like oxymoron, right? But when you do cough, you want the stuff to come out. That's why I prefer Robitussin DM products. Now, Mucinex, all it'll do, and it costs so much more. It's the same thing as the Dextromethorphan but twice as much of a dose. So when you, I was, I was taking both to try to keep from going to the hospital, you know, with that bronchitis and asthma business. I was taking a dextromethorphan 
in the cough syrup and the pill form like in between because it's it's uh it's actually being used for uh experimental uses for um me treatment believe it or not but yeah i haven't heard a thing about any doctors starting to recommend it so wonder what happened to that but anyway this is not about that He's also recommending that you get products like your pulse oximeter, uh, which I should have got mine out. But anyway, that you stick it, you've, you've probably all had it done. You just, you just stick it on your finger. You get them at Amazon and other medical supply places. And a blood pressure cuff to take your own blood pressure. Now, this man is saying that they're setting up because our hospitals are not set up for an influx of people that are sniffling and coughing and running a fever if you're not needing oxygen you need to stay home you need to impose your own quarantine and Take your own medications. You need to have fever reducers. You want a fever of up to 102 or 101 if that's, I mean, if you're used to running a real low fever, you should know what's too high for you. Ask your doctor. Okay. So you want a thermometer, and they're recommending the old fashioned kind too that, that, takes it uh, rectally or orally or under your armpit. So, um, depending on the age of the person, you know, and something, and alcohol, make sh and it's cheap as can be. There's no excuse to not have any alcohol. I use hydrogen peroxide also for disinfecting. Um, Maybe some Lysol, having some Lysol on hand for cleaning. Uh, for like if a nurse were going to come over to check on you. But the, he's talking about this plan they're putting into place. A doctor will call your house. Which I find that really hard to believe. It seems like it would be a nurse. But whatever you can listen to it and see what he says. There's 20. He's recommending 20 health care items. He, oh, he's also talking about this little monitor that you can buy to make sure your house stays in. Um, you want your temperature warm enough. Don't get cold. And you don't want it humid whatever it is he talks about that okay i don't have that and i don't know if i can afford to get that right now but you know these are just some things you get what you can and maybe next month if nothing's happened you can go out and get the rest of it okay so start somewhere i would start with the fever reducers the cough medicines Get more than one box. Get one for everybody in the family. And if you can, double it. That's my suggestion. Because I went through that cough syrup. When you drink the right amount, as often as you're allowed, I mean, the 8-ounce box, I want to say it lasted a week, maybe. But I had it for a few weeks before I finally went to the hospital. I was trying to put it off, you know. And it would seem to get better, but then it got worse. Okay, so anyway. You just don't want to be without if you if you can help it. Um, and if... if if people find out that, hey, there's a case of that corona flu 
at the local hospital, there's going to be a run on all of it. So don't let that happen, okay? All right. I'm going to end this here. Now listen, for those of you that cannot see what's in the description box, here's the title. CDC warning, colon, buy these 20 health care items before they are gone and why. All right, that's the name of the video. And it's Full Spectrum Survival. Okay, I may listen to the first part myself because I I'm, I'm, can't remember exactly how he worded this program they're setting up. So I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay, so this was put up February 15th and I'm just now seeing it. So anyway, sharing it for you. I suggest you get what you can, and we leave the rest up to God, right? Okay. If no plague will enter into our dwelling place, it's like, why do we even need these things? But if you have the chance of getting anything, you want to get it anyway, because there won't be any there if you catch a bad cold and it turns into bronchitis, and you don't have a plague, but you get that. Look, see here, I had something. It was not the plague, but I still needed that medicine. What if there had been a run on it, and I had to get out there amongst people? Well, I don't do that. I order mine. It's a really good idea to order it if you can. So, anyway... I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection and over each and every one of you and myself and your devices and your internet connections. And with that, I will say bye for now. I'll talk to you later. Everybody stay well. All right. Bye for now.